I'm Tony Clark at CNN Center. NASA is just moments away from launching the first shuttle flight of this new year, 1993. This is the first of eight shuttle flights scheduled for this year. The flight was supposed to begin at 8.52 Eastern time, but it was delayed for a short time because of weather. NASA engineers had to uh, put new information, load new information into the computers on board Endeavour. That took a few minutes, but right now everything is go. There was some concern about clouds, but everything uh, looks like it will be, uh, is, is set for this six-day mission. Five astronauts on board. About six hours into the mission, they'll deploy a TDRS satellite. Also on this mission, there's a five-hour spacewalk and some interactive television with elementary school students around uh, the country, just one minute away from the launch. Everything uh, the ground controllers say is going well. Let's listen in. Heaters around the joints of the solid rocket boosters are being turned off. The residual hydrogen burn igniters have now been armed. They'll fire at T-minus 10 seconds to burn off any residual hydrogen under the main engine nozzles. Sound suppression water system will start at T-minus 16. Heading by for the handoff. T-minus 31 seconds. Auto sequence starts. Endeavor's onboard computers now controlling. 25. Light data recorders now uh, recording. Booster hydraulic power units have started. 15. Sound suppression water system is working. Safety inhibits removed. TLS is go for main engine start. Seven, six, main engine is up and running. Three, two, one, zero, and liftoff, liftoff of the Space Shuttle Endeavour with NASA's newest tracking station in the sky. Program Houston. Roger, roll, Endeavour. Houston is now controlling. Endeavour's on its way and it's rolled to a course due east away from the launch pad for its trip to orbit. Thirty seconds since liftoff. Endeavour's already traveling 450 miles an hour. Altitude one and a half miles. Downrange from the launch pad one mile east. Three engines now throttled back to two-thirds throttle to prepare the spacecraft to pass through the area of maximum air pressure. Endeavour Houston, go at throttle up. Endeavour's back at full throttle. Speed now 1,400 miles an hour, 8 miles east of the launch pad, altitude 11 and a half miles. minute and 45 seconds since launch. Endeavour's already used more than two and a half million pounds of propellant. The shuttle weighs less than half of what it did at liftoff. Altitude now 20 miles, 19 miles east of the launch pad. Current speed 2,800 miles an hour. Flight controller standing fire burnout and jettison of the twin solid rockets. Good solid rocket booster separations confirmed. Altitude 29 miles, 36 miles east of the Kennedy Space Center. Speed now 3,100 miles an hour. Endeavour Houston, performance nominal. Performance nominal. Call indicating that Endeavour's performance thus far is just as planned. Speed now 3,400 miles an hour, 51 miles east of Kennedy, altitude 37 miles. Endeavour's already above most of Earth's atmosphere.
this is the third flight of the shuttle Endeavour. It's the newest shuttle in the, uh, the fleet. It is the first of what are expected to be eight shuttle flights during 1993. It's a six-day mission, five astronauts on board. Four of the five are veterans. Uh, Susan Helms, the only rookie on board. The first thing that uh, we will see, the first major activity on board the, uh, the shuttle, will be about six hours from now. That's when the astronauts will deploy the TDRA satellite. That's a $200 million communications satellite. It's a uh, satellite that joins a network of four other satellites, which allows NASA to uh, talk, ground controllers to talk to the shuttles. It also allows for communication between scientific and military satellites. This one will be put into a reserve status. A couple of the other uh, satellites in the network are aging. Uh, they are not able to function as well as, as NASA believes they should. And so at some point, this one will be brought online to replace one of those. Then later in the week, the astronauts will take part in an interactive program with elementary school students around the country demonstrating toys. The astronauts say that uh, the uh, students may find that by watching them play with toys in space, what they'll end up doing is, is learning about science and learning about physics uh, from space. And then on Sunday, there is a five-hour spacewalk that's planned. NASA wants to gain more information about what it's like to work in space because spacewalks are going to become uh, uh, a frequent occurrence as the space station is being built. NASA ground controllers want to learn as much about the realities of working in space as they can. They say right now, there is not necessarily a good correlation about the amount of time it takes astronauts uh, who are training in, in water at the Johnson Space Center, the amount of time it takes them to perform a task as it does in space. And so they want to be able to compare uh, that and find out if, uh, for example, a task in the water tank takes an hour, does it maybe take an hour and a half in space, maybe a little bit longer. And so those are the kinds of things that we will watch in the next week. And of course, CNN will be covering much of this uh, shuttle mission uh, live. I'm Tony Clark at CNN Center.